Arkansas Stand Your Ground bill failed in committee today. Yeah, R.J. Burr was there at the meeting this afternoon. He joins us live with more on why it failed and what happens now. Jay. Yeah, I got to tell you guys, as you mentioned, full house today, at least by pandemic standards, in the MAC building where the House Judiciary met to debate this bill and only this bill, knowing they were going to get a lot of reaction on it. Uh, and there was just really a lot more discussion on the House Judiciary Committee than we did see in the Senate Judiciary Committee. Now, Representative Aaron Pilkington and State Senator Bob Ballinger took questions from the House Judiciary Committee Tuesday afternoon. And this committee has a lot more of a Democrat makeup than what the Senate version does. So uh, could be another reason why this bill was shot down. Now, many of those concerns about the bill brought up once again, Representative Tippy McCullough asking if prosecutors or police can handle this type of law and allow there for to be a fair differentiation between self-defense and just purely claiming self-defense, to which Pilkington answered yes, and that no state has rescinded a stand your ground law. Ballinger reiterated to those opposed to the bill that this is just a law change that many prosecutors already put into practice, but opponents of the bill say those claims unfounded. The reason why prosecutors are, are, are okay with this bill is because it's not something that is going to be a big sea change. I mean, it, really, all the excitement about this one way or another is, uh, is, is truly misplaced. All we're doing is shaping the code consistent with what probably happened 99.9% .9 of the time. In two years since pushing this policy, Senator Ballinger has not found a single case or instance in which the ambiguity that he believes exists has actually caused an individual to be prosecuted for manslaughter, murder, whatever. Now, there were 26 people signed up to testify against this bill, only one person in favor. Over three hours of testimony heard today, and again, the bill was defeated on a voice vote in the House Judiciary Committee. This bill can actually be brought up again by the sponsors, but as of right now, not really sure if they will bring it back to the committee for them to reconsider. Uh, for now, live from the state capitol, Jay Burt, Fox 16 News. All right, Jay, thank you.